Digital Body Language by Erika Dawan. Hi, my name is Anne and I help writing coaches get more clients. In this video, I'm going to explain you how applying Erika Dawan's principles, as explained in her book, will dramatically improve the experience your writer has with your writing coaching business. Principle number one, value visibly. In other terms, is your writer's 100% confident with you to express any of their concerns. Your first reply might be, yes, of course, they can always share any of their concerns when we're having a call. But maybe that might be too intimidating for your writer. One simple solution here is to send a feedback form each time you have had a coaching session. You can also offer your writer to write at any point if they have any concern. Principle number two, communicate visibly. Or in other terms, are your writer and you absolutely sure to be on the same wavelength? For example, is it very clear for your writer what is going to be the next step in the writing coaching process? Here you can share with your writer a very simple form that explains step by step how the coaching process is going to take place or you can explain to your writer what is going to happen in the next session. Principle number three, collaborate confidentially. Now this is important if, for example, you have been hired by a publisher to work with one of their writers. You want to make sure that the publisher, as well as the writer, are aware, for example, when is the next deadline for a chapter or for the entire book communicating both with your publisher and your writer on essential deadlines or other essential elements is in that case a crucial point to make sure that the experience is as positive for your publisher, your writer, as well as yourself. Fourth principle, trust totally. And this is going to be the most difficult principle to apply. Do you and your writer give yourselves the benefit of the doubt when this uncertainty? For example, you have to give some not so great comments on one of the submissions of your writer. Are you confident that when you send out that submission and you don't get immediately a response of your writer, that you know your writer is going over that comment and might need time to digest those comments? If this is not the case, it might be worthwhile to have a conversation with your writer and to explain them that it is okay to take some time to go over the comments before coming back to you. And vice versa, that when your writer is sending in a submission, you might not be able to reply immediately to that submission and give the comments your writer is so desperately waiting for. And voila, by applying these four simple principles, you will be able to improve dramatically the experience your writer has with your writing coaching services. And a happy writer is also a writer that is going to share the message about your services. And so before you know it, you have a new writer on your marketing team. I hope this information has been useful. If you want to have other of this kind of information right in your email box, don't forget to sign up for the newsletter. It is a weekly newsletter specifically curated for writing coaches, and you will find the link beneath this video. I wish you a very good day, and I hope to hear you soon.